Hey, how's it going there, folks? <laughs> it's shut door door. It's oh, okay. Uh, welcome back to episode six. We're keeping this one in. Oh, that is nifty. Like my eyes like change. Okay. Uh, but this is episode six of Vault Hunters. We're going to hop right into a vault here. Uh, and I think I just forgot blocks. That's okay. That's okay. We, we're in an elixir vault, which is fantastic. Remember, elixir means that we don't need to know where we're going unless we need to find a lodestone. Uh, I guess we could pick up some blocks from the surrounding area. So that'll be fine. All right. It didn't bite me in the rear this time. We also, I think, have a skill point to spend when we get back to the base because I completely forgot to spend it last time. But uh, that's all right. So let's go downstairs here. Um, also, this uh, this episode and last episode were shot basically in the same day. So that is also something. I'm trying to kind of do a lot more Vault Hunters in between like the FTB Skies and Curse. Uh, or the All of Fabric 6 pack. I don't know why I just said Curse. But uh, so that way we are definitely keeping a little bit more of a balance. Uh, and not just full forcing into one pack all the time so uh a lot of the ftb skies and um all of fabric six are pretty much recorded on the day after just because i genuinely am trying to get other stuff done as well on top of that so you know it's it's very very interesting so yeah um yeah it looks like we just got like another vault nothing too special Ooh, we got living chest here which is fantastic Got a chicken jockey. Alright, let's keep our health up here. So let's just sort. Oh, we got buns. We got buns, hun. Oh, a trap chest. Fantastic. I love trap chest. Alright, what's this way? And I don't think I activated a bounty either. Which is not great, but that's okay. This guy's like dancing. Oop, I thought I just saw another health bar. Oh well. We'll see. So back up here. No wait, where were we at? Right here. In this area. That's what I was looking for. Because I want to get all the goodies. Alright. Keep this. Actually, I need to have that down here anyway. So, Vault Essence. I I really do think that this pack will get a, lo or get a lot more interesting as time goes on. And I can't wait for that to happen. I've been seeing some screenshots and some... Small segments of videos of uh, people playing this and getting to super high levels and stuff like that. So I am just excited. This is going to be interesting. Okay, so we've already looted this area, so let's just move on here. Uh, of course, armor and stuff gets a lot crazier as you go on, which is something I'm looking forward to as well, to see what kind of shenanigans we can get into um, especially when we get better gems and things like that, because, uh, size matters, you know, we don't want to shove a whole bunch of massive gems onto a tool, because then we can't put all the gems we want onto one tool, which is not a good thing, so, definitely can't wait to actually get some better ones, so we can actually start doing that. What is this, a chalice? A goblet. I wonder what mod that's from. Supplementaries? There is also a vault version as well, so that's interesting. Is there anything we can do with this? Is it just decoration? Okay. Looks like a little trophy to me. Let's get some blocks here. Actually, I do have blocks on me. I just now realized that. Uh, you guys have probably been like, man, there's, there's blocks on him. I don't know why he said there's no blocks that he brought into the vault. But apparently I did. I just kind of didn't realize it at the time. Ooh. Cheeky, eh? Oop, another trap chest. Fantastic. Some more things for us to kill. I think in this kind of vault, trap chests are definitely a little overpowered. Because at the end of the day, you get more mobs to kill. Which is a good thing, right? Because you want to be able to get that elixir as quick as possible. But probably not do what I just did.
Nope, I launched that Nova to, uh... Alright, we gotta run. I have inf in infinity on this bow, so I'm not really worried about arrows really that much. Oh, I'm out of mana. Take him out. All right. Definitely a little crazy there. And it looks like the actual amount of uh, elixir you get from trapped isn't as high as I thought. So that's, I guess they kind of balance that a little bit, right? It looks like it at least. So um, I think we want to just go up, right? Did we, or did we check this area? I can't remember. Okay, we didn't check this one. But I almost did just die there, so that was interesting. Oop, another trapped one. I'm hearing things like falling. I think they're all below me. I'm paranoid right now because all I hear is footsteps. Yeah, they're definitely down there. Which if we can... Yeah, there we go. Bow a few of them down maybe? Cheese strats. I'm always here for the cheese strats, eh? Fantastic. Okay. So, let's head out this direction. I don't think this is the way we... Oh, no, this is the way we came in. So, let's go this direction, then. So we have to find a lodestone, but we also still are looking at getting more elixir, which is looting, killing, and things like that. I believe mining coins as well, right? So um, it looks like maybe we can mine some ores here. And I do have vein miner as well, so don't forget that. I, I gotta remember that. Oh, this looks like we're getting some chromatic steel and stuff, or chromatic iron, which is fantastic. Not 100% sure what this room is, but I do like it. So we aren't getting anything for mining this specifically. So that is uh, something to keep in mind as well. So we kind of don't want to waste too much time mining all of this, um, most likely. But I, I will mine it because I definitely need it and all of that as well. Need as much as I can get here. We also have fortune, so this is going to help. Let's grab this last little pocket here and then we're going to head out of here. So we can actually get the quest done. And get XP instead of just ores. Oop, I missed some. There we go. Alright. So let's travel downwards here. Man, I did drop a lot of this, didn't I? That's okay. It's probably a good idea to get out of here. Okay, so I think we came from this direction. And I don't think there was any other exits. So we need to go this way and then go left, I think. Man, I love... Love, love this. Oh, this is a different location. We have like a castle? Keep type thing? Create seats in here as well? That's kind of strange that I can just immediately recognize. Here's an antique globe from Supplementaries. Is this just, just like a convenience point? Oh, there's chests. Okay, let's do... Whatever I can toss in there. Okay, that's full. Let's do whatever I can toss in here. Okay. Okay. 
Um, we got cookie jars. I don't know what those are, but all right. We'll just keep going. We're heading this way. I probably missed something in there, but uh, I'm going to keep going. Ten minutes. I'm like, I start panicking at ten minutes, basically. What is this? An X marks the spot room. Is this a bad idea? Oh, there's just like something? I ha I know I saw somebody talking about these online, wondered what in the world they were for. I didn't look into it, so uh looks like not much. Alright, let's get out of here. There's probably a reason for it, but I don't see the reason for it, so. Unless there's probably, like, a secret entrance or something. So let's just go this way. Nine minutes. We gotta hurry up, because I still haven't even found a lodestone. Okay, so I think I just went back this direction, yeah. Alright, let's go left. Oh, we missed these. Remember, this gives us elixir as well, so... Ooh, I like a poison trap chest. That was interesting. Or weakness or something. Panic mode engage, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so it looks like we got a normal room. Which is what I want. Let's quickly grab all of that jazz. No lodestone yet either. I'm assuming lodestones are going to be, like, a little bit... I know they're going to be random, right? That's 100%, but... Can you tell I'm starting to panic? I'm talk talking a lot and repeating myself. Let's go kill these guys real quick. So that gives us the uh, elixir. And since I'm starting to panic, I think I want to find a lodestone quite quickly here. I see coin piles. Not really interested in coin piles right now. Goodness me. Okay. Um, ooh, we got these kind of chests, though, don't we? Dang it. Um, I think that's all. Alright, let's... Lodestone. Lodestone's what we're looking for. Let's get out of here. Ignoring the coin piles. I know I shouldn't, but uh, I'm going to. Alright, how do we get out of here? Go up. Maybe this way? This is, I don't think this is the way I came from, right? Or is it? I genuinely have no idea. Okay, lodestone. Search low real quick. There. Escape, which means that we have time to take out some mobs. And hopefully not die here. Fantastic. Perfect execution. <laughs> but I did just start panicking at the end, because I definitely... Time, time like, just makes me panic. Alright, so we've got... A decent chunk from uh, Vault Dwellers. 39 Vault Dwellers killed. I killed a lot of those with bows. So we actually got another level up as well. Okay. Let's eat up here so we can heal. 
I definitely like that extraction timer type thing, which is definitely adding a little bit of like, hey, you got to survive. I kind of wish at the end of that, maybe it does in the future, but uh, I kind of wish it would like swarm you like you had to survive kind of thing. I think that would be pretty cool. Like things just started spawning near you and you had to survive it. And like it multiplies however many people you have. I think that would be pretty cool. Okay. So let's open this. Elixir crate. Oop. Got a few things. So we got some jewels. That is a terrible jewel. So we're going to set that down there so I can scrap that. That's a terrible one as well. Uh, that one's okay, I guess. Not the greatest. That one's terrible. That one's terrible. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. Okay. So we've also got a few rolls here, which is fantastic. So, helmet, chest plate, sword, axe. We also got a relic pack here. Um, oh, and I forgot to claim this last episode, I think. So, we'll claim that right now. Alright, so we got a helmet, which is level 11. 4 armor, 419 durability, 5% crit hit resistance, 2 plus health, 15 mana. Okay, so nothing I really can want from this helmet. So, we're going to recycle that. Uh, we also have a 5 plus armor, 530 durability. Okay, so this one we're already not wanting because this one has the plus 6 armor. Uh, Vault Sword. So we have 11 attack damage. Uh, chaining attack, which wouldn't be terrible, I think. Uh, plus 2. And then 7 plus or 7% 7 illager damage. So I don't think I'm really... I think I'm going to go with this sword, that's for sure. That is definitely a nice sword to have, but I do want to upgrade it if we possibly can. There's a horse at my front door. All right. Um, so we could do this. We could do looting. I always like having looting on these. And then on breaking. And then we can recycle this sword. Okay. And then we can, of course, toss away. Man, I definitely need to have more storage for this stuff, but that's all right. In the future, we will. There's also a gem in that one. And we can recycle all these. So let me recycle all this stuff, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I was quickly taking a look at the stuff we have. So we do, of course, have a lot of different skills we can still learn. But I think what I want to do is I want to go for this uh, rampage. Puts you into a state of, ram of rampage, giving you additional damage increase. So this gives you a 50% damage increase. But I'm kind of looking at this. Because if we get life leech, which I know that there is like a life leech thing down here as well. Adds life leech to your lucky hits, causing you to leech back part of your health. Uh, but that is uh, level 25. So uh, this would be a good thing to do just for damage. And then... I don't think we have like anything that actually allows for you to create different things for Rampage. Um, but I think this would be pretty good to just have. So that way we can actually um, life leech. Because I'm not great at pan Like whenever I start getting almost killed, I definitely start panicking. Um, this is also changes Rampage to give your attacks a chaining effect. Hitting multiple mobs beyond the first instead of increasing your damage while Rampaging. So I think this one. I'm going to go with that. Um, and of course, we can upgrade these things. I forgot about that. So like heal, which I guess I could have been doing this a while ago, um, is just upgrade this. And I think I'm going to spend a couple more points once we get them to start upgrading heal as much as I can. Um, just because I kind of forgot you could even upgrade those. So yeah, uh, let's actually quickly take a look. So we're still on the quests, right? We're still on God Altars. Um, I know we can't see the other ones right now, but uh, we do have like level 20 here. Uh, and it looks like it gets up to more and more and more. And then there's more stuff to come. Because remember, this isn't like open alpha, I think is what they consider it. So there's going to be definitely more quests and stuff in the future. Um, but yeah, let me keep my inventory clean. I just wanted to quickly spend the uh, points real fast. All right, let's run one more vault for this episode. Let's see if we can find that altar that we're looking for here. And I hopefully grabbed blocks. I did. Fantastic. So let's get into this one. All right, so it looks like we got the same or similar, not even the same, just similar 
looking vault. This looks like an ocean kind of one. All right. So we do actually have a monolith three one. So we actually do need to place blocks on where we come from. Do not forget about that. It's probably a bad idea if I did. All right, so we've got a get Brant's four bonus hearts for a short time. Let's jump into the water here. I did forget a bounty, but uh, we'll we'll just go with it. All right, getting some goodies. I don't really want the blank runes from Quark, really, but I don't even know what they're useful for. So I guess we'll grab them still. I kind of forgot to look last time. I'm hearing like something walking. We actually have a monolith right next to us, too. Where'd you go? Okay. So let's grab this. So there's our first monolith. Fantastic. The easiest monolith so far. But I'm liking how we do get the, the up to three now, though. That is interesting. Okay. Um, which way do we want to go? Do we want to look up real fast? Yeah, we can. That'll work. I like how the coconut crab, like, is angry at you until you break its coconut shell. I think that's always so funny. All right. We'll get over here. Open, then we got like a secret door thing. Apparently, you do need keys for those, and you won't get those until later, uh, most likely. So, we're just going to kind of ignore those. Going back down here, let's get our stack of blocks. Uh, and we are going to go this direction. Oop. Where in the world did you guys just come from? Did I miss something? I did. I guess this right here, yeah. I just got too close from walking above them. Alright. So we're going to go this direction. Definitely looking to get that heal up a lot more, because that is a good idea. I really should have been doing that from, from the get-go. Kind of just didn't think about it. All right. Any any altars or anything? That's also what we're looking for. Oh, you're a different. You're like a Goliath one or whatever, the bigger one. I missed being that close. I missed. Lucky. Okay. Uh, quickly before we do anything. Okay, like an arrow that looks fantastic. Ten out of ten. I'm gonna be the best arrow builder after. After this series completes, you know, I'm going to be the best arrow builder to, to be known by mankind, right? Alright, what do we got over here? Uh, let's put the chains away, because I do not need the chains. If I need chains, I will make them. Uh, and we got, ooh, good thing I flipped that open. Wouldn't even have noticed that, honestly. Alright, I know there's probably somebody else over here, right? Yeah. Gotcha. 
Ooh, we got a gear piece. Fantastic. Alright, nothing else back here, right? Nope, just a little chimney. Okay. We already looked at that room. Uh, looks like there's stuff up there, but I'm not really concerned about those wooden chests too much right now. Because I do need to keep going. Alright, and we've looked down... Or we, I don't think we've looked down here, right? No. Yeah, the uh, chaining thing is definitely cool. I think that's better than Sweeping Edge, in my opinion. It's guaranteed to hit multiple enemies. Instead of, like, just a larger area. It just hits enemies. Okay. Definitely, definitely a good thing we got this sword. A little bit stronger as well. Alright, let's eat some food so we don't forget to. Alright, I'm hearing something over here. Gotta love me some uh, vein miner here. Yeah, I like how that, uh, like the purple particle effect, I thought that was something else. But no, that's like the chaining thing. It's like chain lightning kind of situation, where it actually visually shows you where it's going. I do like that aspect. Okay. Uh, I think that was it over here. Yeah? Alright. Make sure we're fully healed up here. And I'm assuming there's, like, only partial damage to enemies, right? So there's not, like, some massive uh, trade-off type of thing. It just kind of uh, isn't fully as damaging as it would be otherwise. Alright, let's quickly go take a look at this. Uh, regain all your hearts. I'm waiting for, like, one of these chests to just explode, by the way. I feel like that would be something that should happen. With the trap chest, it's just explosions in your face. Probably should have kept that chest down. Or the shulker. Looks like we're gonna have to get another shulker here. Alright. And this... Okay, so this is the less packed one. Good. So which way did we come from? I marked it, right? Is it up here? Yeah, it's from up here. Okay. And I'm pretty sure we went up this way. We got 15 minutes left. We gotta start hurrying. Okay. So we came from this way. So let's go this way. Two more monoliths, eh? So I'm going to kind of stop looting a little bit and just kind of look for the monoliths. So let's make sure... There's one right there. Fantastic. And I'm pretty sure there's only one generation per room. So we'll just kind of move on from uh, this after. Ooh, there's a living chest here. Hold on. Living chests are good because we get those burgers and stuff, so I definitely want to stop and grab those. Okay. Um, and I think... We also still haven't found the uh, altar thing that we're looking for. Right? So... Gotta keep an eye out for that. Like, I love how I always found them in the beginning altars, but now I'm just not having any luck.
Okay, so that's an exit. That would have hurt. Let's try and go down this direction. Take a little peek ski poo around here. I am really concerned about killing these guys that much. Ooh. Give me a second. Alright, we got a little bit of time here to take out whatever's over here. Hey bud, you attack me first. I could have just let you live, crab. You could have made all the dollars at the Krusty Krab, you know, and lived your life to the fullest. But instead, you decided to attack me. Not very kind. Uh, coin piles. Not a monolith, that's for sure. Alright, and I hope we marked where we came from. I genuinely don't remember if I did or not. Yes, I did, okay. Uh, let's go up. See if we can find a monolith there. Monolith or altar or something. Ah, oh, we did find a monolith. Man, whoever built these, like, little structures, I like how the lava flows out of them occasionally. Not always, but occasionally. Okay, let's activate that. Just so we have that done. I knew I heard somebody, I just didn't know where he was. So we still haven't found what we're, we actually came here for. Which is kind of disappointing. Oh, baby demon. Let's dip. I didn't see anything up there that I needed anyway. Okay, let's head back this direction. And then let's just go down another route. Real quick, I think that'll be a good idea. Let's eat some food here. I ain't really cared about them chasing me that much. Okay, and then we came in that way. All right. So we got a whole 10 minutes left. We really don't need to panic too, too much right now. We aren't that far away, I don't think. Just kind of traveling some corridors, right? All right, any altars, anything at all. I know it's such a weird thing that I haven't been able to find one in a, in a little while. Okay, we'll let him scurry off. Uh, I changed my mind. This is something different. I also never set the uh, Rampage keybind, by the way. I just now realized that. So this is just more coins and stuff, like a little shipwreck type thing. Another fantastic room, but I think this will be our last one. I don't think I found anything useful here, but uh, we'll get over it.
Okay. Well, I think that was all we found. No altars, no nothing. I'm probably going to run a vault off camera. Uh, and actually just legitimately off camera. Instead of just me sitting here being quiet. Because that's, that's legitimately how I am like 90% of the time, by the way. Like those clips, I usually do have my mic on. And you'll hear me murmur every once in a while. But uh, most of the time, I legitimately am just sitting here absolutely dead silent. And it adds nothing to it. So uh, instead of doing that, I'm going to just be quiet and uh, be it off camera myself. So I don't have to be as quiet, you know, whatever. I mean, I, I am normally that quiet, what I just said, right? But um, we'll see. All right, so we are going this direction, I believe. Yes. Still sad that we didn't find another altar, but I'm going to run vaults until we find the altar. So I may be level 20 by the time you guys see me, unless I find another uh, altar in the next vault. So um, that'll be interesting. Like, unless I just genuinely have missed them. Which I don't think I have, but, uh, you know, oh well. Here we are at the end. We got seven minutes left. I probably could have found one, but uh, I think I don't want to risk it, really. So, here we go. Okay, so we've got uh, almost to level 12. I didn't fully get there because I definitely didn't get as much loot as I usually do. Uh, let's see. So, we had one wooden trap chest, which is cool. We got one epic gilded and six common. Oh, okay. Yeah, the Elite Drown. So that gave me 1,400 XP. So the big skeleton we killed in the la or one of those episodes, if I did complete that without dying uh, or whatever, I would have got a decent chunk of experience from that. So let's go drop this monolith crate and see what we actually can get from this. So open. Nope, nope, don't come towards me right now. All right. Looks pretty good. We got, some, we got tons of jewels out of this. Uh, 48, not the greatest. Axing, 57, 64, 59. Uh, let's keep uh, depositing stuff here. So coins go in there. So we got some vault boots. So let's roll that, roll that. And then I guess we could drop our shulkers here real quick. So I know we had a vault axe. So let's get that looked at. Three armor, 648 durability. So this basically has four armor, not f not three. So that's interesting. We have four armor, 741 durability, two plus health. Okay, but this does have the thing of having extra durability. Hmm. <laughs> okay. And I don't think we have any jewels like that, right? That increase like armor. It's just all tools, I think. I think that's all this is, right? Because these have size. Or is it capacity? I think capacity is it. So there should be stuff that is like armor, right? Like plus armor is there not? I know like the, the quantity and stuff you can throw on here. I'd assume because that's like the uh, level quantity or whatever. Soul bound. Yeah, like the item quantity stuff. Okay. Uh, but these aren't as good as mine. That's for sure. So we're just going to we're gonna recycle them. They are like the... Uh, higher t tier though aren't they why is there a spider outside i mean we could re-roll and see what we get let's uh let's grab a focus here um so we have an amplifying focus i'm gonna set that down there for right now nope i can't i don't have any uh vault bronze okay let me grab vault bronze vault bronze so that gave me 2 plus health, 19 mana. Let's re-roll it. 6 plus healing efficiency, plus 1 armor. And this thing has plus 2 armor, right? I mean, I'm okay with taking that. 6 plus healing efficiency, 497 durability. We don't get the extra health, but I do want to keep our armor somewhat okay. So we can then... I mean, we could even re-roll these and try to get better, but uh, I think I'm just going to recycle these, and then I'm going to recycle this helmet, and then I'm going to recycle this axe, okay? And then we're going to wrap up this episode here. Thank you, guys. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Before we do that, I have mystery boxes. A whole bunch of diamonds. Okay. 
And with that, we'll wrap up this episode. I'm going to run and a vault until I get that quest complete. Um, and right as I get that quest complete, I'm basically going to make the next episode. So thank you guys. Stay awesome. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.